Former New York Governor George Pataki is expected to announce his candidacy for president tomorrow morning, joining Santorum and a crowded field of GOP hopefuls in the hunt for the White House. And while Pataki has been out of politics for nearly a decade and has a dwindling name recognition, he also has a knack for beating the odds. George Pataki is no stranger to political ambition or uphill climbs. The six foot five inch attorney from upstate New York went from small town mayor to state lawmaker to governor in less than 12 years. To do it, he had to knock off a high profile Democrat in a deep blue state with his own national aspirations named Mario Cuomo. Uh, it's not simply replacing one person with another, Cuomo with Pataki. It's about changing this state. Pataki's three terms as New York governor were distinguished by his ability to raise and spend money. I think we have to cut taxes. That became his mantra over his 12 years in office, and the state budget nearly doubled under his watch. His tough guy stance led to lower crime rates and fewer prisons, and he was able to take credit for a strong economy, in large part because of the strong national numbers. The people who did this horrible act have to be brought to justice. He vaulted to national prominence during America's darkest moment. Pataki's highest marks for leadership came in the aftermath of 9-11. There are still cells in America who have one goal, and that's to do it again. Politically, the former New York governor is a moderate Republican who advocates term limits, stricter gun controls, gay marriage, and environmental protection and abortion rights. Pataki has already mounted three exploratory campaigns for president in 2000, 2008 and 2012. Skeptics say he was more interested in polishing his profile and filling his campaign war chest than in an actual run. His previous threats faded when support failed to materialize for his candidacy. He walked away from the New York governor's mansion to work for a high-profile Manhattan law firm. It's been nearly a decade since he was last in public office, and his only real foray into the political arena has been setting up several super PACs. Pataki has so far spent more time in New Hampshire trying to woo Granite State voters than any other candidate, apparently hoping to jumpstart a campaign that so far has attracted little attention.